Hey, this is Eric from Obsessive Audio. We're going virtual instrument today. We're going to check out a virtual analog synthesizer from Eplex 7. It is called Clairphonic. If you remember a little while ago, they released the Claire Haim, which was monophonic. This is the polyphonic version. I believe there's four voices to this. Other than that, it's got basically the same controls. So let's go through the controls really quickly. We've got two oscillators right here in this section. You, for each oscillator, you can choose which octave you want, the volume, various waveforms to choose from, sawtooth, triangle, square, various pulse waveforms. You've got the frequency, the, the fine-tuning pitch control, and the amount of pitch modulation coming down from the LFO-1 down here. You can also turn each oscillator on or off. You've got a noise section with your selection of white or pink noise and the amount of noise you'd like to add to your tone. Over here, you've got uh, an interesting control, which is simulation of the circuit temperature. Presumably, when you turn this up, you're going to get a bit more drift, a bit more variation in the sound. The LFO sections down here, LFO1 and LFO2, uh, where you could also select your waveforms, your speed, and your depth. And the LFO1 controls the uh, pitch modulation up here on the oscillators. LFO2 will control the cutoff modulation of the filter. I'm moving along to the filter. Actually, before I do all that, too, I should also mention that Eplex 7 has said if you want the most analog sound, that you should run this at 44.1 kilohertz. And now I've tried this at other sampling rates, and sounds good there, too. Maybe we're talking like a 1% difference. But if they're saying 44, try it that way. That's what I'm running at now. That works out really well with the YouTube as well. And uh, also, I forgot to mention you've got a global glide function. Uh, where the tones will um, you know, glissando into each other and the saturation section. And this is important. This is a global saturation. When you go through the presets of these sounds, there is quite a bit of saturation to this plugin, and uh, which sounds great because Eplex 7 makes great saturators, great oscillators, great sounding filters. If you do need to clean up your sounds, you would turn this down. And I found even on some presets, when I turned it down all the way, there's still a bit of saturation, in which case you'd go up here to the volume and even tweak these back even a little bit and make up for it on the main volume over here. Now that said, let's get to the filter again where you've got the two modes, 12 dB and 24 dB mode filters, uh, which you could choose from. you got your cutoff emphasis, which is, of course, is your resonance, your peak control. We have the uh, keyboard tracking. So if you have this down all the way, the cutoff's not going to change. If you start to turn the tracking up, that is going to raise and lower the filter depending on which key you're playing and scale according to the amount of tracking that you're putting in there. And, of course, the amount of envelope modulation. And that's where we get to our two envelopes. The one in question here would be this first one, the filter envelope. You've got your standard attack, decay, sustain, release, and also a curve function that helps you fine-tune the response. So this envelope right here is one of two. Down here is the amplitude. So the filter one controls the uh, cutoff of the filter, and the amplitude, of course, controls the volume of your uh, oscillators. Same thing here, attack, decay, sustain, release, and the envelope curve. Uh, the two LFOs, I guess this pretty much covers most of it. should also mention that they've added a very good sounding uh, analog chorus to the plugin. So right here would be your on and off switch. And here would be the rate, the depth, the pre-delay, and the feedback. And now when you turn the feedback up all the way, you're going to get uh, flanger type of sounds. Pretty cool. Dry, wet mix control. Now, uh, here is the preset section, the last thing here, where you can choose from various presets that it comes with. You can alter it or make your own presets and then save them or load them. You can do individual ones or you could do the entire bank. You can rename presets and then save them. It's just handy to have that there. Also, in my case, I've got Reaper going and those presets that it came with loaded up right away. So I've got them here as well.
So those are the basic controls. Let's take a listen to the raw waveforms on the synthesizer. What I've gone and done is I have set up some sawtooth sounds because I love sawtooth. That's uh, what made me fall in love with synthesizers in the first place. So that uh, tends to be where I go when I'm first checking out a, a keyboard and how it sounds. Let's just play around. Pretty powerful. That's just the raw sawtooth. Not a lot of effects on it. There, uh, we could try the course here for a minute. Cause that, you'll hear that. Like, uh, let's get some notes going on. Turn on the chorus. And off. On. really helping to fatten things out if you remember like the Roland Junos they would do that so very handy thing to have also though what I did do is I dialed up some uh, some echo here well that's a big plugin anyway it's a new space delay that uh, from T-Rex uh, IK Multimedia it sounds awesome I'm gonna turn that on you can get a bit more effects going Ha, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go through some of the presets here, and we'll hear what we've uh, what we've got going. So we'll take off that reverb a bit. Play with the filter. on that course. Let's play with the saturation now. Let's get it really distorted. Thank you. 
is one called Brutalist. Magic Dirty Eighties. Pretty fat, pretty fat. Uh, let's do a few more here. Anyway, you get an idea of this. Cosmic 80s. Let's hear what that does. Really is nice to have some chords on these sounds. So. Organic synth. liquidy kind of filter going on there.
There you go, a quick look into Clairphonic from Eplex 7. Fantastic sounding synthesizer. Hope you enjoyed some of those synth tones. I know I don't do virtual instruments all that often, but uh, I really like the sound of this. So go check it out at the Eplex 7 website. Hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed. Hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time on Obsessive Audio.